Hi guys, welcome back to Broccoli Beauty. My name is Maria. If, in case you haven't watched any of my other videos, um, I'm doing a lifestyle YouTube channel. Um, today's video is going to be about spices. I have so many different spices. I use them for everything pretty much. So I was going to uh, just kind of go over my favorite spices which I have probably about 20 of um and kind of tell you what I use them in uh the basic ones I won't tell you what I use them in I'll just kind of show them to you um and I'm also going to show you what I currently use as a spice rack because it works um so if you like this video please subscribe hit the like button as well follow me on social media um I only have an Instagram right now for my um YouTube channel, which that's Broccoli Beauty, and then if you want to follow my personal Instagram, it's marnick underscore underscore. Um, also, my husband, uh, I know in a couple of videos, or in my first video, I believe it was, I talked about my husband. He uploads videos once or twice a week. He also streams once or twice a week. Um, so if you want to, he uploaded a video on Friday, and he's uploading another one today, Sunday. Well tomorrow but I'm recording this on Saturday tonight Saturday night so um his is on on YouTube it's Craig Crash so if you just want to subscribe to him give his videos a like and we're gonna go ahead and get started so um right now I'm using Craig and I have a roommate currently so um I'm using his desk because he's not here and he said I could until Craig and I can get a desk, um, we've been kind of looking around because it would benefit both of us because Craig also has a podcast um, that he records with his friend every Monday nights, comes out Tuesdays. That's Crash Course. You can find it on iTunes and SoundCloud. Um, so, yeah, we're looking at getting a desk. We just haven't. We've looked at Ikea. We've looked at Walmart because we work there. That's actually Craig's department. But we just haven't found one that... Um, will fit in our bedroom we um have a very like i i don't want to say small but very because our bedroom is pretty big but it's like a limited space because we've got two dressers our queen size bed um and stuff like that in there so we just need to make sure that it's not going to look too crammed because we also have to put a chair in here or in there <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and get started um right now to Put all my spices on. I'm using a Lazy Susan. A Pioneer Woman Lazy Susan. Um, this is not... I don't put all of my spices on here. I just put my spices on here that I use a lot. Because it's so convenient to just be able to turn it around. You know, whenever I need a spice, I can just spin it. Um, <clears throat> but I use... I guess I have about 20 spices in here right now that all came off of this. So I feel like I'm going to have to start getting, uh, or maybe get like a, a countertop spice rack. I found one on Amazon that I like that actually hangs to your wall. Um, but it's like $40. It's really expensive. So um, I'm thinking about, and I also wouldn't mind one that sticks, or like hangs to the wall too. So if you guys have any recommendations on a spice rack, make sure to put it in the comments below or message me on my Instagram, either Instagram works. Um, my personal Instagram is private, but my YouTube Instagram is not. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with some seasoning. I'm just trying to decide which one I wanna start with first. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with these. Couple. Okay, so my basics, I love garlic. Garlic and onions are like my go-to. I know that's weird. Um, but I mean, not necessarily weird, but like that garlic is like my favorite flavor. And so is onions. I will eat onions on anything. Um, so I, right now I have Meyer garlic powder. Um, I try and buy like most of the thing, most everything that I buy, I buy it like Kroger brand, Meyer brand, great value. Um, because I don't honestly I don't see the difference I mean I do have when I get to my better spices like my pinsy spices I do have garlic in that too but 
but this one's my Kinsey's blend is roasted garlic. We'll get to that one later. But I just don't see an issue with the great value. Um, I go through, and especially garlic salt. I go through garlic salt and garlic powder. This is garlic powder. I go through garlic powder like no other. So I'm pretty sure I bought this. I don't remember like a couple of. I want to say maybe I'm about two to three weeks ago and it's i don't know if you can see it but it oh, hang on i'm struggling here almost done i'm well about halfway so i'm not as much of a fan as onion powder as i am garlic powder i don't know why i just don't think it tastes or smells like an onion i mean it tastes kind of gives that taste but you have to put a lot in but this one's great value um i've had this one for a while I just, like I said, onion powder, it's not like a huge thing for me. So, the next one I'm going to talk about is McCormick. I used to love McCormick, and I still use it a lot, but not, these are, this one used to be my go-to for like, oh no, not this one. This one used to be my go-to for like hamburgers. Um, it's Smokehouse Maple. I don't think this one's, oh yeah it is. This one smells amazing. It is, if you need a good, like, smoky smelling maple thing for, like I said, I love putting this on burgers. Um, this one, Smokehouse Maple, it's delicious. Um, like I said, I don't use my McCormick much anymore just because I, over the past couple of months, I've been going to Pinsies a lot more don't know what pinsies is we'll kind of get to that because in a minute because i have a lot of pinsy spices so i use a lot of those more than i use um mccormick um so my next one is barbecue just the regular barbecue it smells like barbecue sauce it's really good um craig also likes this on his burgers so he gets, um, for like nights when I'm not home, like, or like on his lunches or stuff, he gets the prepaid, pre-made frozen patties on the Johnsonville bratwurst. And so he'll make those and he'll season it with this. Most of the time when I make it for him, I season it with this. He normally doesn't season, but if he does these two, that's what he seasons with. And this one has lasted us so long because the, the barbecues, Flavor goes a very long way with this. Um, so the next spice I'm going to go or talk about is the Lowry's. Um, I just started using this in, um, I'll say November. Um, we went to, November, December, we went to my cousin's for Christmas uh, or to celebrate Christmas with my cousins and my um, cousin Holly had made this like these delicious potatoes and um, I'm wanting to say they were Pioneer Woman recipe I don't remember but I got the recipe from her because I was going to make them for Friendsgiving and um, she told me this and ever i've went through two of them so far oh this is my second one this stuff is amazing the seasoned salt i um my one of my really good friends beth and i we went to pinsy's about a month ago maybe and i almost bought some seasoned salt from there and then but then i got to thinking like this one is like a dollar fifty maybe two dollars oh my gosh so that's patrick i'm recording in his room so don't mind him I was like, who is behind me? So Patrick got to make a debut on my uh, video. Um, but I was going to um, do, uh, I was going to get the Pinsies brand, but I was thinking like, this is like $1.50, so much bigger. And honestly, I think it smells better. I can't go for the taste because I've never tasted it. But um, it's really good and it's really cheap. So, the next one I'm going to talk about is the, I don't know how to pronounce these, the Tony's, um, but the Creole. Um, I have the original. It smells amazing, and it tastes amazing. I um, use this, well, first off, let me go back to season salt real quick. I use this on almost anything, like literally anything. Um this one is, I mean, it's kind of spicy. You can see on the back, it's like level one spicy. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably kind of blurry. 
but it's still really, really good. Um, I'm not a huge spicy person, and neither is Craig. Craig can't stand spicy foods, and he likes this one. Uh, this one I put on potatoes. I'll put this one on any kind of meat, not chicken. I mean, I haven't tried it on chicken. I just put this mainly on like ground beef, pork chops, stuff like that. And then I put it on potatoes. I also have the Creole, the more spice. This one is um, the two pepper one. So it's not as spicy as the bold, but it is definitely more spicy than this one. Than this one. So if I'm gonna use this one, I use have, I use very little because, like I said, I'm a wuss when it comes to spices. Um, the next one we're gonna go over is. This one, I'm not sure what brand it is. Hemis Fairs. Um, one of my good friends, Beth, gave this to me because she didn't use it. Um, it's smoked Spanish paprika. <sighs> Smells amazing. This one's really spicy. I had Patrick mix really good potatoes, fried potatoes. And I had him put this on here on, on him once. And I had him put like a bunch on it because it smells so good. And my mouth was on fire. It was <sighs> terrible. I mean, the potatoes were good. It was just very spicy. So I put this on potatoes, very little. I also put this on pork chops, really good on pork chops. Um, the next one I'm gonna go over is Spice Island. Um, I don't have very many Spice Island um, spices because I just started using them when I saw um, the, they had garlic pepper on clearance, and we talked about this at the beginning. Garlic is my best friend. Um, I This garlic pepper, I've used like garlic pepper grinders before from McCormick, just like garlic salt grinders. Excuse me. And they get like stuck. Like the grinders stop working because um, all that salt and pepper gets just stuck up there. This smells amazing. This is the best smelling and tasting garlic pepper that I've ever tried. Um, Spice Island is a little, uh, Spice Islands, they're a little on the expensive side, but it's totally worth it. Um, I was able to get this on clearance for $1.74, originally $5. I got it at Meyer. Um, same with the white pepper. I have never used white pepper before. And honestly, like, I don't think it tastes much different. Um, I definitely don't like the smell of it, and I love the smell of pepper, but I definitely don't like the smell of this one. But I don't think it tastes much different, but I was also able to get this one on clearance for like a dollar seventy something at Meyer as well. And then the last Spice Island, well, I have one other Spice Island one. It's sage, but I don't use it as much, so I didn't bring that one in here. Um, but this one, cayenne pepper, one of my recipes, I think it was um, Cajun rice chicken something I don't remember I posted it on my Instagram one I made but um, it called for cayenne pepper and so I bought I was at the store and um, they had like oh, so you can even smell that it smells spicy um, I was at the store and they had McCormick but like I said like I have kind of like drifted away from McCormick no offense to McCormick but um, so this one was a couple dollars more, so I just went ahead and got this one. I think I paid $4.99 for this one, but I love spices, so I can never have too many. Um, so now we're going to get to the, my last category, which I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, this is Pinsies. So Pinsies is a spice store. Um, they're deli their spices are delicious. Um, they're kind of pricey um some people like say that um it's not worth the price i've had a couple people say that but i personally think it is um i i just i really like their spices um so we're gonna go i'm gonna go over like all the spices that i have from them and if you like them on facebook it's p-e-n or let me make sure P-E-N-Z-E-Y-S, um, and sign up for their emails. You get, like, free stuff all the time. Like, I'll show you the free things that I got. So, we're going to start with my first Pinsy Spices that first got me hooked to them. Did I not bring all of them in here? Huh. 
Okay, I can't remember, honestly, if I have all of them in here. Um, if not, I'll add it in, or I'll tell you about the description. So these three, um, Mural of Flavor, Arizona Dreaming, and Forward. I'm pretty sure I got another one too. Um, my friend Beth got me for Christmas was it last year. I think it was like this past Christmas. Um, and I love them. So the Forward I use on everything. I've started using it on popcorn. It is delicious. Um, it says that, let me see. I know it says kind of what it tastes like on here. Maybe not. It does on like the little Pinsy's description in the store. So this has extra bowl, black pepper, onions, paprika, garlic, turmeric, spice extract, extractives, and celery, rosemary, black pepper, thyme, basil, and paprika. So it's really good. Um, the Arizona Dreaming. I honestly, I don't remember when I put this on. It's been a while since I've used it. I think I put it on chicken, maybe. I don't remember. Um, the mural of flavor is the one, actually, real quick, back to Arizona Dreaming. Pretty sure that's the one my friend Beth told me to put on popcorn, but I thought she said forward. So, um, I think that would be pretty good on popcorn. I can't decide. I'll have to try it next time I have popcorn. The mural, mural of flavor I put on, um, um, pork chops. Any kind of pork, really. The next ones, so we're going to go, I'm going to go over my free ones. I think these are the only two free ones that I got. Yeah. Okay, so this one is one of their newer ones. This one is delicious on potatoes and um, vegetables, like steamed broccoli, or not steamed broccoli, roasted broccoli. I'm sure it'd be good on steamed broccoli too. But I always uh, preheat the oven to about 325, 350. I cut up broccoli, like fresh broccoli florets, and um, put a little bit of olive oil on them and put some of this and then my roasted garlic from Pinsy's. And sometimes I put Norwood on there, which I'll talk about what that is. Um, and then I bake them for 15 minutes. Oh, so good. This one was one of my free ones that just came out. I mean, this is a really good value. These, the size is normally $12 to $13. That's what I'm talking about. If you sign up for the emails, Beth and I were able to go there and get this for free, and then one of the um, one of their seven like rainbow um, spices for free as well. So I use this one on broccoli and potatoes. Um, this one's just basic chili powder. That's the one I got to pick for free the last time we went as well because it was um, it was part of their rainbow collection. So um, I like this. I've only used it. I think. I'm pretty sure the the only time I've used this one was when I did that um, Cajun chicken cauliflower, or not cauliflower, Cajun chicken rice baker. I can't remember what it was called. Um, the next one, I got this one the same time that I got um, those two for free. I got this one for $2 because it was on sale. It's fajita. We have a lot of tacos in this our house. Tacos, fajitas, we do taco pasta. We do chicken tacos, we do everything tacos because I'm obsessed with tacos. This one smells delicious, it's amazing. So I would suggest definitely trying that one, especially if you're a big taco lover like I am. Um, also the Southwest, that one's pretty good on like tacos too and ground beef. I basically put this one on ground beef, like hamburgers or if I'm making tacos or um, we do some like taco pasta, or I talked about taco pasta, but sometimes I do like ground beef and um, put it, mix it with like pasta noodles, and then um, I'll put like Alfredo sauce or cheese sauce in it too. That's a really quick meal, um, so I use that a lot too. Um, I just have four left. So this one, the Sunny and Sunny Paris, smells amazing. I put this one on uh, vegetables like cauliflower um sometimes on broccoli i'll put it on um corn green beans you think i roast most of my vegetables so 
um, whenever I roast them. I definitely, I use Sunny, the Sunny Paris and then the Justice for sure. Um, the Norwoods is really good on French fries. This one has salt, paprika, black pepper, thyme, rosemary, garlic, and chipotle. So it's not super spicy, but it definitely has a kick to it. And it's really good on French fries. I bet this one would be good on popcorn too. I eat a lot of popcorn, so I'll have to try that. Um, my friend Beth uses the Norwood Fire, and she says that she she's the one who steered me in the direction of this one because she knows I don't like spice like spicy stuff. But she um, just wanted to make sure I got the regular, not the super spicy. Hi Ari, Ari's back to make her third debut apparently. Say hello. Say hello, Ari. Hmm. Mama's little baby. Okay. Um, so I'm going to save my favorite one for last. But this one is um, Chicago Steak Seasoning. We use this obviously on steak. So I use it on pretty much all meat um, besides chicken. So I use it on pork chops. Um, I made a pork roast the other day in the crock pot. So I um, seasoned it with this. And, um, before, like, I let marinate in this, and then when it came out, I also put it in, um, put this on it. I put it on pork chops, ground beef, pretty much everything except for chicken. And it smells delicious. It has, like, that smoky smell to it. And it's salt, black pepper, sugar, garlic, onion, lemon, citric acid, and natural hickory smoke flavor. So, really good. Um, my favorite one... <laughs> I debated and debated and debated the two times I've been to Pinsies, um to get this one, and I finally did, and I'm obsessed. This is the best garlic salt I've ever, or garlic I've ever tried. It's their roasted garlic. It smells amazing. Like, Beth and I are trying to plan a trip back because I feel like I'm going to get, like, five jars in this size of the roasted garlic because it smells so good, and... We were just there like a month ago. Patrick, I'm so sorry. Your desk is going to be full of spices. I'll clean it off. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> okay. So we've been there about a month ago. And as you can see, like that's all I have left. I seriously, I use the crap out of this stuff. Mm. McDonald's Diet Coke for the win. Um, so yeah, so that's my spice video. I was really excited to do this. Oh, I use this on everything. I'm pretty sure I said that at the beginning when I talked about the great value one. I use garlic on everything. Vegetables, um, potatoes, chicken, ground beef, everything you can think of. You know, I've never tried it on popcorn. I'm gonna have to try that on popcorn. I'm sure that would be really good. I used to do it at home when I lived with my parents when I was younger, but, um... I haven't in a while, so I'm going to try that. So, um, like I said, if you have any recommendations for a spice rack or, or any spices, I'm willing to try all new spices. Like my, one of my old roommates, um, when I, we first moved in with Craig, Patrick lived with us before and then he got a sublease there, which was also one of our friends, Holly. She's the one. Hang on, I got to sneeze again. I'm so sorry. Okay. Maybe not. Okay. She's the one who got me addicted to the, the Tonys. And my camera's falling. I'm so sorry. Um, the Tonys. And um, I forgot about it. And then we were at the store one day. And she was like, oh. Or I said, oh, is this what you used to use all the time when you cooked? And she's like, yeah. And then I bought this one. And then realized that they had the more spice. And I was like. Excuse me. She warned me. She thought that it would be too spicy for me, but like, I like it. So, like I said, if you have any any recommendations on spices, spice racks for sure, please let me know because I'm getting ready to show you how full my spice rack is. And most of the time, I um, double stack my pinsies because they're so small. But um, Beth and I are making a trip to Pinsies here soon, and I'm sure I'm going to come back with a lot more. So, um, I was also going to tell you that Pinsies isn't, I mean, I know it kind of, 
um, I kind of made it sound expensive. And for some stuff it is. Like the garlic, that my favorite garlic cost me about four or five dollars for this size but it's so good um so i got i was just gonna tell you that the prices like the that i got the last time i went there i'm trying to find everything that i got um, okay so i got this one for free, this one for free. This is all on the same trip. This one, I paid $2 for. Don't remember how much I paid for the other four. All of this for $21. I know two of the big bottles were technically free, free, but I still went away with one, two, three, four, five, seven bottles of spices for $21. And like I said, some people may think that's expensive, but I like cooking. I cook a lot, like almost every night. The past couple of nights I haven't, but um, I cook almost every night. Um, so, um, I, and I just, I love spices. So, if, like I said, third time's a charm. If you guys have any recommendations on spices, please let me know. Um, and spice racks. I definitely am in need of a new spice rack just because I also kind of want a better way to sort these because I I mean some of these I use more than others obviously so this and well I guess I'll just move it over here this is my spice rack currently so like I mean I have a little bit of room right here but that's gonna fill up you know soon <laughs> Especially the way I buy spices. I swear, every grocery trip I buy a new spice, it seems like. So, if you like this video, please subscribe. Give this video a like. Also, follow me, like I said, um, on Broccoli Beauty on Instagram or MarNick underscore underscore. Um, if you have any questions, or if you um, have any suggestions, please leave those in the comments too. Or you can message me on Instagram. Um... Also, follow Craig, Craig Crash, um, on YouTube and Twitch. I believe, yeah, I believe it's Twitch, too. Or Craig Crash on Twitch, too. And then uh, Craig Crash TV on Instagram. Alrighty, well, like I said, please, please, please give me your um, spice recommendations and your spice rack rec bleh, I can't talk, I'm so sorry. Spice rack recommendations. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next Sunday. Have a good night, everybody.